Hey guys, it's L Super Sonic Q with part two of the How to Sculpt Yoshi Clay tutorial. So part one, we made the entire head, which is kind of uh, a bit different from how I normally do tutorials. Usually don't, we don't do uh, the entire head in one part, but we did this time. So now I'm going to move on to the body. The body of Yoshi is... Uh, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just go and say it's a weird shape. I think that'll that'll suffice. So I'm gonna take some of what's left of my green clay and roll it again into our sphere. Theme of this one is the theme of this clay tutorial is circles and spheres because I think everything we've done so far has come from one of those shapes, um, like legit. So. I'm going to do that, and then thin it out. So you'll have something like this, and what you're going to want to do is really sculpt the tail, the tail end, and, the, and like the, you know, where the head would go. So, yeah. Sculpt that until it looks something like this. Now, I'm not actually going to put this on now, but I just want to see for comparison's sake. Because you know me and my scale and all that stuff, so... Alright, Yoshi. Because, see, Yoshi in the old days, this is this is the weird part, though, is because Yoshi, I mean, he used to have a longer, like, body uh, than he used to have, and now he kind of stands up straighter, so... I can never really get the body right on Yoshi most of the time. I just added some more clay here. Might need to take some out, actually. All right. So make sure it's it's thick enough. That's my first tip to you would be to make sure the body's thick enough. And then I'm gonna prop it up because I think it'll look better propped up. I never really made Yoshi with a propped up body, but it definitely looks better. Um, so do that. And again, I'm not going to put this on now, but I just want to make sure that it's right. What you might even want to do is kind of squish the head down uh, and just see how it looks like that. I think that looks good, and it'll look better once we have the hands on and stuff. You might need to flatten it out. Um, so that's, I'm, I'm calling that good for right now. First, I'm going to put the white on. And the white goes all the way down the front of the body, down to the tail. So we're pretty much going to sculpt this exact same thing, but a lot thinner. And again, kind of just flattening it out. That'll create the effect we need. Start it all the way up, and I think it goes all the way down the entirety of his body. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't rip or anything. Then it'll look like that. You may need to, again, uh, not, not so much smooth the edges out, but uh, kind of pull them pull them back like that as much as you need. And I gotta just make sure it reaches all the way to the tail, because I didn't have enough white, nor did I bring enough white with me. Well... Recording this, so I got kind of got to conserve. All right, well that looks good. So there's the body of our Yoshi. Uh, you know, just because I want to make sure that this is looking okay. All right, that's looking. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good. making sure that he has more body than he does tail, because I said that from the beginning. Now I'm going to make the shell. And this probably won't be as hard as you guys might think. Or I hope it's not as hard as I think it might be. Uh, again, I, I'm going to say make a circle and then put your finger kind of uh, like, you know, inside of it. And then kind of flatten it around your finger to create you know like a 3d hollow effect because I mean it's 3d but it's like hollow on the inside and then I'm gonna put that right on 
his back like that. Maybe a little farther down. I don't know. It depends on your preference, I guess. Uh, and then it does have a white line around it. The shell used to be a saddle. Fun fact, just throw that out there. The shell used to be a saddle. Um, but regardless, it does have a little white line around it edging. So roll out a thin piece. And I want to do, yeah, I suggest that we do this how I'm doing it, uh, like on, like after we put the shell on here and then we just line it with it, or else it'd be really hard to get on it any other way. And I'm just going to roll this out here because I need it to be long enough and I couldn't get it long enough in my hand. So... Again, habit. I'm doing it all the way down here. I need to do it in front of the camera. Upright, all the way up here. I hope this is enough. Alright, cool. Look like it was just enough. So, pretty much line it like that. And also, what you might want to do to make sure that it uh, doesn't flip up or anything is kind of just. I guess I just use it to demonstrate this, but you can do it with your finger too. Just kind of just roll it back and make sure you know that it is actually on uh, the green part of his body, so that it's not gonna like you know that there's no like red. You can like you know. To make sure the white line is not too high, so you can see like the red, you know, underneath it, because that'll look kind of weird. Again, going back to this. All right, it's looking pretty good. Might just bend it a little bit, like that. Cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna do the hands next. That'd be the next best thing to do. Now, I think Yoshi. I think he has like five fingers, but I kind of always like to sculpt him, and I always kind of thought of him as having like three fingers, so I mean, for this video, uh, I mean, if I'm really lazy, what I'll do is I'll just make a thumb and just have him like, you know, like one huge hand and like a thumb, but what I'll do is I'll use my technique that I've used for most of them, and that's making one, two, three cuts and see that the fingers kind of separate and then you can just sculpt the fingers like that and again you get you might have to work it a little more but I don't actually did too many cuts only needed two because the thumb I was including that in my finger count so you can do like that and then he kind of has you know fold them over like that so and then I'm gonna bend the elbow up almost forgot about that just little minor things that make a difference and then you can probably just push it on with your finger make sure the fingers stay intact there we go that's one uh, I'm trying to do the second one off camera just uh, so it's easier. Alright, so now that we have Yoshi in a Yoshi-looking uh, arm position, we're going to move on to his legs and boots. After we make sure this is in scale. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. I'm just so worried that like the head isn't going to look good, and if the head doesn't look good on the body, it's going to ruin the whole thing. So, first what I'm going to do is make the leg obviously then we'll kinda do the boot from there so Yoshi know, has kinda like chunky legs honestly I would just do something like you know that and then just flatten it out and kinda fold it over like that and I'm not sure if he has any you know, I, I'm kinda thinking does he have any white on his on the inside of his legs but I don't think he does um, so I just won't make it with any, and I'm going to flip this over because this part is thicker. Uh, so the boots are kind of going to be, I don't know, I can't really compare them to anybody else's shoes we've done. Most of them being Sonic characters, I can say, well, you know, Mighty's shoes are like Sonic's shoes and everything like that. But Yoshi's, I guess they're like Mario's, you could say. Um, we're going to start with a circle again and flatten it out. Like that. Then what I'm going to do is 
Yeah, okay, so that was, that's going to be the top. Now I'm going to make uh, a squarish looking thing for um, the next next part of the shoe. You'll see when this all uh, comes together. And then the last part is like, you know, the last, I don't know, this is, really, it's, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to circle this one off, make it a little bit uh, ovalish. Put this onto here. And then put this on top. Pushing it all down to make sure it looks good. So, with very minimal explanation for me, that is essentially how I would make Yoshi's boot. Um... I guess it's kind of like Mario's to a degree, uh, and you just want to make sure it's not too thick or too long or anything, but let me see how that looks. I think that looks fine. Uh, the the only thing I can complain about is, yeah, you want to make sure that it's not like really long, because Yoshi, it's, you know, Yoshi, Yoshi has like short feet, so you don't want to make it like, you know, really long. I think something like that actually looks really good on Yoshi. So... Um, this is the hard part, because you can either kind of work it in with your finger if you think you have enough skill, uh, like me, I always think I do, and then it always falls over in the oven. Um, you can do that, or you can use a toothpick. I'm just going to try and try and do it without using a toothpick. If you use, if you do not use a toothpick, well, if you do use a toothpick, make sure that it doesn't go all the way through to the other side or whatever. And if you're not using a toothpick, make sure that it doesn't interfere with this shell, because I was trying to, you know... Um, push it on here and uh, it's starting to get into the shell so make sure it's kind of out of the way and not interfering with any other pieces so uh, I hope that was a good enough explanation for the um, for the shoe I'm gonna do it again on the other side and then we'll put the head on and I guess what you can do if you want to make it look really nice is take some yellow and just line the bottom of the shoe with the yellow. I never really like to do this for my clay figures just because when they're sitting on my shelf you don't really see the bottom of them. So that's why I never really did it but uh, if you like really precision detail then you can do that. So uh, cool that was that was one. I'm going to do the other one off camera. It's the same thing and then we'll put the head on. Alright so I actually I got the second leg on and stuff and uh just because this is also part of like the assembly, I guess, you could just, you know, make sure that the knees and stuff are tucked in there nicely. And uh, I'm actually going to try and maybe push this down. Do I have any faith that this will stay in the oven? Probably not with the head on. Even without the head on, it probably won't. But uh, I'm just going to push it down just to make sure all the parts and everything are in there right. And plus, this is sticking on the poster board, too, so that's also why. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. So now the head is probably going to be the hardest part to this um, clay figure in terms of the assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist, take a toothpick, whatever, break it small enough, twist it in to the head. I'm twisting. I wouldn't just jam it through because you probably mess something up, or I mess it up when I do that. Uh, but leave enough space so that you can put the head on, then I'm going to gently twist it in. And then, you got something like that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit now. So the only thing I'm going to maybe do is just fix the chest up a little bit. Put, push the head down, down a little bit. Make sure the arms are correct in where I placed them originally. You know, you can do whatever you want with the posture, the pose, or anything, but it's just kind of generic standing Yoshi. There we go. So now I'm going to put this guy in the oven. Uh, in fact, I, I maybe I should make a note of this. Um... Yeah, baking instructions. So let me go pop this in the oven, and then we'll see how it comes out. 
Alright guys, so this will be a good learning experience and an explanation experience for us all. I hope you saw that um, disclaimer um, before I, before well hopefully before you put it in the oven because I was I meant to say that, um, again, I would suggest laying it down unless you kind of, you know, do a, like, push it down until it stands perfectly on the oven type thing. So again... Lay it down is what I would recommend, but you also, which I don't think this has come up before, you run the risk of this happening. See how his legs are kind of lopsided now? So, oh, actually. Oh, I guess he does stand. I was going to say, so he's not going to stand, but I guess he does. Um, so I guess we lucked out in that aspect for this case, but in general, that could happen, and it could prevent your model from standing up, because stuff kind of, you know, uh, slumps over in the oven, like this did, but I'm glad it stayed like that. And then, haha, why did this happen? Because when I was showing it, I think I went a little too far because my hand was blocking it initially, and instead of taking the toothpick out and then showing you again, I just twisted it in farther, so, again, um, this is a good learning experience, because if this happens to you when you're sculpting, or if it happens... After you're sculpting and you end this, you know, because this clay is fragile and it ends up breaking, then you can use a super glue like I showed in the SPA tutorial and glue the head back on. For this, I think I'm actually going to glue it onto the side like that. I wasn't originally like that, but I think I like it better just with the way he's standing and stuff. I think it looks looks more Yoshi natural. So, uh, that's that. Uh, and again, the glue pretty much dries right when you, well, in this case, it'll dry right when you put it in because it's an internal thing, but if you're gluing an arm or something, I think you gotta hold it there for like 30 seconds or so. But overall, I think we did a pretty good job sculpting this Yoshi. I'm glad how it came out, especially since I haven't sculpted a Yoshi in a long time, and I managed to get it a fairly good size with the amount of clay I had, because I only had a little bit of green. Uh, so overall, I do like this. So, I think that's it for this Yoshi clay tutorial, guys, episode 6. So thanks for watching, and as always, uh, you guys can keep sending in your requests and stuff. But I just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, I thought of doing a Yoshi, and I kind of really wanted to do it before I, you know, neglected to do it. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'm L Supersonic Q, and until the next video, that's it. So.